So look, you know they try to say James 1 and 13 contradicts Genesis 22 and 1. Mm. Hey, man, y'all got to stop it, man. For real, though, man. Look, y'all got to stop it. Hey, look, I want to get something real quick. Get something 14 and 1 for, for these unbelievers out here, man. For these people that don't believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Psalms 14, verse 1. Check All this right. out. This is the book. Hold on for a minute. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. So look, y'all, we're going to dig deep into this one real quick. Matter of fact, we don't even have to dig that deep into this. We're going to smash this just like we're going to smash everything else that come our way. Because the Lord said, uh, I'm going to give you a, a, a mouth that none of your enemies you can gainsay. You know what I'm saying? Let's read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 14, verse 1. Listen. The fool. The fool. Have said in his heart. You damn there is no God. I know, look, you got somebody upset right now. He said, damn. damn. <laughs> well, what about the word damnation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this is what damn means. You damn. You a damn fool. You going to be da damnation. You know? Now, look, let's read that again. The fool. The fool. Have said in his heart, uh -huh. there is no God. It ain't no God. That's what the fool said. They are corrupt. And, and look, notice all the people who say ain't no God, they corrupt. These atheists. These Egyptologists, uh, man, all these little different groups out here, man. I was looking at a video the other day with a dude on there. Um, you know, he was talking about the rioting and stuff like that. And he was saying, look, follow me. I know how to organize. Y'all don't know how to organize. You ain't organized nothing yet. <laughs> you ain't, you, you've been teaching the, the, the knowledge that you got and the so-called wisdom that you got for years and you still ain't organized yet. You can't get a thousand black men together. You can't get a hundred black men together to organize something and to help build the community. You ride Lamborghinis, you ride fancy cars, but you are not doing nothing to organize the people yet. They sit up there and say, oh, because we believe in the Bible, mm -hmm. that uh, we stupid or something wrong with us and we still following the white man, but yet we organize. We organize the nation. We can get a thousand men. We can get two thousand men. We can get ten thousand to men, men together in purple and gold, all in order, all in rank and formation. Then you know that the wisdom you got ain't a damn thing and the wisdom that God blessed us with is what's going to sit up there and build the people. So now let's read that real quick. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. You a fool if you think it ain't no God, Reed. They are corrupt. He said y'all corrupt, Reed. They have done abominable work. He said y'all have done abominable things. You, you eat unclean food. You do all types of abominable stuff. You you probably done all types of uh, homosexual acts. You did all type of nastiness, Reed. There is none that doeth good. He said there is none that doeth good, Reed. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek and God. And y'all fools don't believe in God and y'all don't seek God. And he looked down and he see that. The Lord sees that right now. So let's deal with this. They said James 1 and 13 contradicts with Genesis 22 and 1. Let's get it. This is the book of James chapter 1 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. Let no man say when he is tempted I am tempted of God. Oh, so it said, don't let no man say when well, he is tempted, I am tempted of God, read. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. So God don't tempt no man. So now let's go from another Genesis 22 and 1. Uh-uh. I think y'all got us this time. Hey, I think they got us, bro. I see you scratching your head. So that means they got us. Let's see what we got. Read what you got. This is the book of Genesis chapter 22, verse 1. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham. Oh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Look, if they have no understanding of the Bible, I think they actually contradict. I'm like, hold on. The scripture say, for God cannot be tempted with either, neither tempted he any man. And then it say, God did tempt Abraham. 
So look, if I didn't have no understanding of the Bible, I'd be like, oh, hold on, man. This thing is contradicting it. No, it ain't contradicting it. You just don't understand. Let's get the understanding of this. Let's go to uh, Genesis 22, verse 11. Let's see if God was actually tempting Abraham. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. This is another angel. I know I know they're going to be like, nah, because you remember we did the one called seeing God. So I already know. Y'all see every damn thing. It's an angel. That's what the Bible said. You didn't read it. It ain't my fault. You're right. <laughs> read that again. <laughs> and the angel of the Lord read. called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. Read. And he said, Lay not mine hand upon the lad. So the angel said, Some people thought that was God. Mm. <laughs> that was the angel. So that wasn't that God tempted Abraham to offer up Isaac on the altar. That was an angel. And the reason why he was doing that to see if he would withhold anything from God. And it said, Read on. It says, Neither do thou anything unto him. See, this proof that he's on the set. Don't do him a sacrifice. He said, you better not touch that boy. <laughs> hey, cause look, hey, look, the angel waited till he got all the way up to this point. Right. His, you know, he, he, he cocked his hammer back and he was going to come down with it. Read. Now I know that thou fearest God. He said, now nah, I know you fear God. That's what the angel said, Read. Seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. The angel said, you didn't withhold your only son from me. Mm -hmm. So guess who this, now look, I'm going to show you something. A lot of people don't understand. The Lord is in control of everything. Go to 2 Chronicles real quick, chapter 18. So now nah, it wasn't the Lord. There was tempting him. It was the angel that was doing it. But God is in control of everything. Check this out. Read this. Read what you got. 18. 2 Chronicles 18, verse 18. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 18 and verse 18. Okay, here we go. Again, he said, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, who shall entice Ahab, the king, Ahab, king of Israel? So hold on, the Lord is having a council. And he said, I seen the host of heaven sitting on the left hand and on the right hand. He said, who shall entice? Aha. Uh -huh. Now look, let's see what the host of heaven is. Go to Psalm 148, verse 2. Because some people will be like, it don't say no angel right there. It just say the host of heaven. <laughs> I, look, y'all, I know y'all thought y'all had us, but not this time. Not this time. You might get close to getting us one day, but not this time. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 148 and verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his angels. Read. Praise ye him, all his hosts. His angels is his hosts. Go right back to where you was at. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 18, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Again, he said, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and all the host of heaven standing so on his right. the angels and everything sitting on his right hand and on his left, read. And the Lord said, Who shall entice a half king of Israel? So now the Lord talking to these angels. Which one of y'all going to go entice a half king of Israel? The same way he said, Hey, which one of y'all going to go entice Abraham. Read on. Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Uh, the Lord wasn't going to go do it. He got people to do it for. Read on. <laughs> and one spake saying after this manner, and another saying after that manner. So now you had all these angels saying, look, I'll do this. You had another angel saying, I'll do that. That's what happened with Abraham. You had an angel saying, look, I know how I'm going to tell Abraham. I'm going to go down there and tell him to offer up his only son. Read on. Verse 20. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. So now you had, then you had one angel say, look, I'm going to do it. I'm going to entice him. Read. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? He said, how are you going to do it? Then and look, God <laughs> is counseling with his angels. How are you going to do this? Read. And he said, I will go out 
and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So now he's telling the Lord how he's going to do this thing, Reed. And the Lord said, thou shalt entice him. You're going to tempt them. Reed. And thou shalt also prevail. You're going to prevail at this, Reed. Go out and do even so. You see that? Go out and do even so. So the Lord, look, hey, the Lord got angels to do his work for him. The Lord don't have to do the work. So no, James 1 and 13 do not contradict Genesis 22 and 11. Hey, look, contradict. This the screen black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.